it's been a long time here and the good thing is that i am back to your screens yes so i took a long break um, from youtube i think it's about two months now since i posted up so since then i've never created any content for youtube but neither have i had to post anything and that is because i had to um, focus on a lot of stuff i was busy with work and some other personal projects so i just decided to take the break and pace myself so that i don't burn out but i am back i'm back guys <laughs> i'm excited to, to be back and i'm trying to hold myself accountable this is me publicly holding myself accountable that i'm going to be consistent to the end of the year Today is 30th of July, it's Sunday afternoon, and by Tuesday we'll be in a new month. So from August to December, I have a goal to be consistent every week on YouTube. <laughs> I say that and I'm like, I'm in disbelief. Am I committing to this really? Anyway, to be consistent and post a video every week on YouTube till the end of the year. And let's see how it goes at the beginning of this year i'd set out to hit 1000 subscribers i'm still less than 500 but i'm doing this with faith that um it will work i know that my faith will not um come to fruition without putting in the work and consistency so i'm committing to consistency anyway welcome to a new vlog yeah oh i got braces <laughs> i think that's a new thing um i got braces i'm still partnering with the lower parts the upper, upper parts will be fixed in two weeks time and i'll be fully jacked up like my teeth will be jacked up and i might be talking my speech sounds different now and there's a lot of movement happening in my mouth especially with my tongue so bear with me uh i am going for an event today called mom's that brunch the dress code is tropical bahamas wanting wanting i don't know i'm actually going there on behalf of raw beauty and that is the skincare brand that i currently work with uh i'll be there they are part of the sponsors of the event so i was invited to come over as the face of the brand anyway so i'll just go get dressed now and i'll catch up with you guys later Yay! i didn't get to talk to you guys when i finish dressing up at home and, be and that's because i had to rush out of the house so here we are at the brunch event this event was scheduled to start at 2 p.m and they did not start anything until 4 30 p.m 4 30 two hours and 30 minutes later i was so pissed and i was already out of my socializing zone when it started eventually <laughs> So I am currently in Kano State. I do not share a lot of my work here on YouTube, but you're about to experience what a week in my work life looks like. Um, I'm in Kano for today and tomorrow, and tomorrow I proceed to Jigawa. From Jigawa, I proceed to Zaria. Just for context, in case you don't know what I do, I'm an agribusiness consultant. I currently work as a senior manager at a management consulting firm called Sahel Consulting in Abuja. I get to um, travel a lot because of my kind of work. We work closely with smallholder farmers. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm up, set, feeling good and grateful. And I think I have cold. Anyway and i'm heading out i'm wearing this set from zephans and co i've had this set for about three years now and it is one of the most functional pieces i own it's a wardrobe staple and i'm so happy that in fact let me show you the full look i'm not sure if you can see me but this is what it looks like and it's just really suitable for the area i'm at i mean kind of so you have to like be all covered up and stuff so yeah See you guys later!
FYI, I actually scored in Kano. I scored in Bayer University Kano. So anytime I'm back to Kano for work, it just brings back a lot of interesting memories. I also stopped by at my school. It was a nostalgic experience for me. I finally got my certificate in my school, Bayer University Kano. After eight years of graduation, it was very straightforward, but there, there was just a lot of processes going here and there. I wasn't used to that anymore, but yeah, it was not a hassle any, at all. So. Hi guys, second stop, second state. I'm currently in Jigawa State. I just came in from Kano. I have a meeting at 5 p.m., so I have to join my meeting shortly. And tomorrow morning i will be going out to the field with my colleague that works from jigawa state yeah so earlier today i was in bio university Kano. that's where i schooled i studied agriculture in buk and i graduated about eight years ago ever since then i've never gone back to get my certificate so i decided to use the opportunity to just stop by and get certificate it was a lot of hassle you know all of those students go here and go here go there go. i wasn't used to that lifestyle anymore but um a friend of mine helped me and everything became easy i got my certificate and i feel like a regraduate now it was it was nostalgic going to the school because you know it was just bringing back a lot of memories the good the bad the ugly you know yeah it was good buk owes me nothing i'm grateful for the experience i had there for six years Yes, six years. I, my course was five years and then um, with lots of strike, Boko Haram, closure, everything that happened, lot of ups and downs. <laughs> yeah, I spent six years, um, full six years in Kano. So I sort of understand the culture here, the vibe, the social life, as well as some level of outside language. <laughs> I love this last um, sentence so much. It says, don't go to Jesus for a miracle. Go to him for a relationship. Once you have a relationship with him, then you can have a miracle every day of your life. Take time today to work on your relationship with God, okay? Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. And I'm in Dutse, Jigawa. Um, let me show you my outfit. I'm all dressed up and ready to go to work. I'm going to see my teammate and um, we're just going to um, work from there today together. And later in the day, I'll be heading to Zaria. Yeah, see you guys later. This is my outfit and I decided to pop up pink mousse because why not? I like to have fun with colors and I think this pink and green is just doing what it's supposed to do today so <sighs> it's been raining all morning yeah it's it's, it's currently about 9 a.m it's been raining all morning and i think i like it because i don't even want to any much sun um kano was extremely hot yesterday and i believe the gawa is equally hot but maybe the rain will make things feel better today Guys, I'm currently in Zaria. I slept towards the end of my journey. So. Yeah, trying to plan out things for the scholars' conference happening tomorrow. Guys, I've been eating yam and egg since I like since I started traveling. I'm tired. And do you know the annoying thing about Nigerians? We load up carbs in our food like we want to go and fight war. Why do I have one, two, three, four, five slices of yam. Who wants to eat it? Like who? Be one person to please come forward. If you had applied to study medicine or civil engineering, please can you come forward? I have a quick question for you. All veterinary medicine and you ended up in agriculture. Okay, the lady in green is coming. Thank you. So you're going to tell me your name, your department, what level you are. And I want you to quickly answer this question. Why did you choose medicine? How did you end up in agriculture? What do you think about medical doctors? And what do you think about farmers? We need to step up and respond to the state of emergency of food insecurity in Nigeria and in Africa as a whole.
today was it was really great talking to students studying agriculture i did study agriculture graduated eight years ago hated agriculture didn't even expect to find myself in this space but then i'm happy for the opportunity i've had so far and how the journey has been you no know, interacting with students after the conference who really are trying to identify what they could do after school was a way to reflect on how my journey started and i remember uh when i joined fao as an undergrad i actually said i wanted to intern at fao i was like yeah 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 i want to go to this place uh, i don't just want to be like that agri person thinking small and working as i don't know thinking about who and cut class yeah so i was researching like top organizations i found out about fao and then i said i wanted to intern at fao i went there with my uncle barista daily if you can see this shout out to you <laughs> you remember how this journey started and then we got to the gates of fao in abuja and i was not allowed access into the yeah into the office they said no appointment no invitation you cannot get in right we we're on our way home when we saw a dhl office and i was like wait a minute we can actually write a letter and send it to them actually got a plain white sheet at dhl office wrote a letter with my pen not even typed i just wrote introduced myself talked about my interests um and all of that and it took a while before they got back to me but i was so hopeful while i looked out for other opportunities and eventually they got got back to me and i remember the first day i went to fao and met with the country director she was like you wrote that letter you're so small and tiny like she was really drawn to the fact that a tiny girl i think that time i was 20 20 yeah i was 20 or 21 tiny girl could think about doing that and i got the opportunity and that really made me think differently about agriculture as a profession i left um fao went back to school graduated and i was convinced that yeah i wanted something big in this space and I, I i joined sahel in 2017 i didn't have to apply for any job it's interesting how i, I always walk into <laughs> all my jobs yeah for for sahel i was in i was in lagos and i was just researching where i could uh, start off my career as a, a young graduate i found out about sahel and i carried myself and walked into their office and said i'd like to work here and you know just it was it, it took about two months before i like went through that process and got into sahel but trust me i was persistent and i wouldn't take no for for an answer i kept going back i kept following up i kept calling eventually i was invited for an interview and i i got in and here i am um over six years later i'm still thriving i'm happy talking to like younger people about agriculture the opportunities and you know just thinking big and i'm excited about the future i'm not going to restrict myself into agri alone i know that i have other opportunities to work in other landscape possibilities um but yeah this is my baby and i love it here and i'm i enjoy growing here basically i'm tired now and i'll stop talking i still have work to do on my laptop so i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow i need to go get dinner now get my work done and bye for now good morning from haji afisayo <laughs> it's friday morning guys and i'm in kano still in kano i leave kano today but i'll be going out to some communities to meet with some farmers today i'm wearing a scarf because i have to dress the part so i'm dressing the part i'm looking the part let me show you my full outfit. That mirror looks nasty, but yeah, this is my full outfit. I'm wearing a jumpsuit. I had to throw on the top underneath it because it's armless. Belts to accentuate. And then I'm wearing a slippers to blend in. Soft day, easy day. It is. I know I said I, I had to add up now, but I just wanted to share these thoughts that I've had for a while now. And it's around how like your priorities start to shift over time i remember five years ago my priorities are different from now and that i i want to just attribute it to growing but again it's about shifting your mindset um gradually and 
a lot of things can help you grow your environment the people you surround yourself with the things that you consume in terms of content online the books you read your spirituality and everything it just shifts your mindset um gradually to and tilt towards the things that you consume every day so please be intentional about whatever you consume who you roll with who your friends are and the things that you believe in um it really shapes who you are and i've like really seen the result over the last years where, where i've been more intentional about my life about my growth about my life choices and i no longer see some things interesting anymore simply because i'm not that girl anymore thank you for attending my ted talk bye you got me losing my mind back home back to base and i attended the style fidence event and i had the opportunity to make my own perfume for the first time it was good um, beyond the activities i learned a lot from the topic um it was centered around mindfulness hello hello it's saturday and i haven't vlogged this week i think the last time i picked a camera to talk or record anything happening was last week saturday i believe and that's because I've, i have had a long week i had a crazy week i was i even had a breakdown at some point that was how crazy my week was but not to worry i'm fine i'm good i i mean i'm good i i'm, I'm now very self-aware i know when i'm going through some stuff and i know how to to get back on track so i'm fine uh and yeah i have my full braces is on now and it's just been awkward because I feel like I can't talk. I've been finding it difficult to talk, to pronounce some um, alphabets, especially my V's and my P's. Like, I don't know what's happening, but I know things will adjust and everything will be fine. Over time, I'm using my mic today. I've not used this mic in like months. So I decided to use it today to see if it still works. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> anyway, I attended an event today, um, a mindfulness event. It was um, organized by Dr. T. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure that you would have seen me post something about Dr. T somewhere, somehow. I'm so happy that I went for it because the whole week has just been crazy for me. And that was just what I needed to distress or to un unstress. And um, it just makes me remember when I um was in therapy so i was in therapy in 2021 for about seven months and um at that point i was going through some just crazy things in my life i had anxiety i was going through some level of depression and i was just happy that i saw therapy because a lot of things i learned um during that time i've internalized them and they've just helped me to na navigate every aspect of my life so mindfulness was one of the things i learned then and I've learned how to uh, focus less on past mistakes, um, being anxious about what the future holds for me, and, and just focus on the present time. You cannot control your environment and what happens in your environment, but you can control how you react to situations, how you react to challenges, how you react to how people treat you or things people say to you or even external things that are happening around you yes. another thing that um i learned was to be less hard on myself i used to be very hard on myself i'll beat myself up i would you know just tell myself i'm not trying enough or blame myself for something that went wrong and uh, these days i've just learned how to be kinder to myself being less hard on myself and just give myself grace and compassion to grow to live to be happy to just you know take things slowly and finally you need to be kind to others so it's not enough for you to be kind to yourself and give yourself compassion and grace you need to do the same to other people um you don't know what people are going through you do not have the right to judge anybody or pass any negative comment or vibe to anyone around you family friends visitors strangers cleaners gardeners security guys be kind to everyone treat people with respect
respect, be self-aware, be very aware of your environment and be sensitive to what others might be going through and treat yourself with respect. Respecting yourself, respecting other people will make you more emotionally intelligent, okay? Anyway, welcome to my TED Talk. I should stop talking now. I should actually end this vlog here. I'm hoping to be back next week. And I'm hoping to be consistent this time. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sounding this way, but yeah. Thank you for watching. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And turn on your notification button so that you know when I drop new videos. Until next time. Bye, everyone. God bless you. They take me up, they take me down I'm dead, you're weak on my knees Oh